guys, what's up? It's me, Elle, and welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. So Samsung is back once again with its latest entry-level mid-range offering, the Samsung A22 5G. And it's time to test out this phone for a spin, check out its features, and find out what separates this phone from other devices in the same price segment. Also, disclaimer, we were sent the marketing sample of this phone, kaya wala tayong box and accessories for this one. So let's go straight to the phone. Okay, the Samsung A22 5G comes in a variety of colors starting from white, violet, mint, and the one we have is gray. But honestly, it looks black to me. So if you're a big fan of fun and pastel colors, then you might want to check out this phone. For the build, this device is made out of plastic and its overall design is pretty simple and polished. No additional texture or patterns here, just a plain back with a slightly matte finish, which adds a premium quality look to it. On the right side, you can find the power button that doubles as a fingerprint sensor along with the volume rocker right above it. On top, you can find the secondary microphone, while the three-card slot is located on the left side. Meanwhile, on the bottom is where you can find the audio jack, USB-C charging port, and single firing speakers. For an entry-level Samsung phone, it was pretty surprising to see that this doesn't come with a pair of stereo speakers. However, it did produce some really good audio quality and it has some good volume loudness to it. But do keep in mind that whenever you play games on this phone, you might actually cover the speakers. But anyways, here's an audio sample. For display, the Samsung A22 5G has a 6.6-inch IPS LCD display with a 1080 by 2400 resolution and 90Hz refresh rate. And as you guys can see, the bezels on the sides and chin are quite thick, while the dewdrop notch is a little distracting if you ask me. I wish they could have gone with a punch hole camera instead. But hey, no AMOLED screen aside, the display delivers pretty solid colors and sharp details. Though it may not be as bright and vibrant as an AMOLED screen, but it gets the job done to help you enjoy watching YouTube videos and scrolling through your endless feed. Although, if you combine the dewdrop notch, slightly thick bezels, and LCD screen, while it does produce a functional display, yes. Is it trendy though? I don't think so. However, this does have a 90Hz refresh rate that delivers a pretty smooth scrolling experience and it will definitely come in handy whenever you play games. Okay, since we're all indoors, the best way to have fun and de-stress is basically play games. Specifically, mobile games. So the big question that we have now for the Samsung A22 5G is that, can it run our favorite games though? We'll have to test it out since this phone is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 700 5G with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage space. Plus, it runs on One UI Core 3.1 based off Android 11, and it also has a speedy 5G connectivity. So, Dimensity 700 5G is a pretty decent and capable processor for an entry-level device such as this one. But of course, it's time to test out its gaming performance. Starting with League of Legends Wild Rift. I played this on quality settings with 30 FPS and performance settings with 60 FPS. And so far, halos wala naman pinagkaiba sa performance and its overall gameplay was smooth. I didn't encounter any lag or frame drops at all. And it was pretty much enjoyable since Wild Rift is a light game to handle for this device. I wish the display was a tad bit brighter though, but overall, I had no problems playing Wild Rift on this phone regardless of the settings. In terms of Call of Duty, this device can only go up to medium graphic quality with high frame rate, which made the gameplay run smoothly. Moving around, aiming down sights, and reloading all had smooth animations and almost little to no stutters. It actually makes my gaming experience more immersive and you can easily secure winning your games. So for Call of Duty Mobile, the Samsung A22 5G performed pretty well. And lastly, the moment of truth. Let's find out if this device can handle Genshin Impact. The default settings in-game is set to the lowest settings, which provides a buttery, smooth, and almost lag-free gameplay. But what do you expect playing in the lowest settings? Yes, it runs smoothly, but graphic quality? Not so sharp. 
So let's amp it up a bit to medium settings with 30 FPS. And as you guys can see, the graphic quality did improve. The details are sharper on screen, but you see some occasional stutters and a bit of motion blur whenever your character moves around. Same goes for high settings with 30 FPS. The motion blur is more noticeable and frame drops are apparent, especially in the midst of battle. But overall, playing Genshin on this phone was enjoyable and I'm surprised the phone didn't heat up even when I played this on medium settings for around 30 minutes to an hour, which is impressive. Though, I do recommend playing on low settings when it comes to Genshin Impact. Alright, let's move on to the battery. Powering the Samsung A22 5G is a 5000mAh battery with a 15 watt charger. And based from a battery test, the Samsung A22 5G lasted 11 hours and 21 minutes of regular media consumption. And I'd say that's a pretty decent number of hours for scrolling through your feed and jumping between social media apps here and there. Now let's go over to the cameras. It may look like the A22 5G sports a quad camera setup, but in reality, it has a triple camera setup with an LED flash. It's equipped with a 48 megapixel wide, a 5 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor, while on the front, it has an 8 megapixel front camera. For the camera features, it has a portrait mode, photo, and video that can shoot up to 2K, Full HD, and HD with 30 FPS. It also has additional settings such as food, panorama, pro, hyperlapse, night mode, and slow motion. As for the photos, the colors are bright, punchy, and very true to life. Plus, it has good dynamic range. It takes really impressive shots in good lighting, though details do get washed out in low light. And when it comes to its dedicated night mode, the photos look brighter, sharp, and well-detailed. Overall, the Samsung A22 5G offers a variety of trendy colors to choose from, a clean UI experience, an impressive gaming performance with a capable processor, a great set of cameras, and of course, its 5G connectivity. All for the price of 13,990 pesos for 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. However, competition is pretty tough out there for the Samsung A22 5G since there are other devices out there that do offer offer an 8GB of RAM for almost half the price. But hey, do keep in mind that this is a Samsung phone and you're really paying for Samsung's quality and of course its clean One UI experience. Plus, if you're a big fan of Samsung, then you might want to check this phone out. So, what do you guys think about this phone? Comment it down below and share your thoughts. Also, don't forget to check out Unbox.ph for more awesome content. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe because we're having a giveaway right now. So go head over to our community page, check out the mechanics, and may the best techie win! Anyways, that was another awesome gadget straight out of the box. This was me, Al, and I'll see you guys next time.